Welcome to chapter 5 of our exploding dots story. OK, so far we've done addition, some multiplication, we've done subtraction, we're missing division. But you do division problems like this, 276 divided by 12. But before I begin, let's be very clear what we mean by division. What does it mean to divide 276 divided by 12? What are we actually trying to do? Well, it's really asking for how many groups of 12 could we find in a picture of 276. All right? So then one way to do this division problem, a very clunky, awkward, horrible way, would be draw a picture of 276. For example, here's a picture of 276 dots. So let's see. Well, it's not there yet. I'm going to draw lots of dots. In fact, uh, you know, I might be here for a while drawing these dots. This is going to be a very long way to do this division problem. OK, now I'm getting bored. Can we pretend that's a 276 dots? All right, so what's division? We're asking how many groups of 12 can we find in a picture of 276? All right, looking for groups of 12. So maybe there's a group of 12. Maybe there's a group of 12. There's a group of 12, and so on. So if I had the patience to actually do this, I bet I will find there are 23 groups of 12 in that picture of 276. So we then say 276 divided by 12 is 23. But that's a very horrible, inefficient way to do this. There's got to be a better way. Well, the answer is yes. We can actually draw a much more efficient picture of 276. Namely, we could draw 276 in a 10-1 machine. And then, I bet it's going to be magical. We can see right away. When we look for groups of 12 in that really clever picture, it would be so obvious there's 23 of them. Division is going to be a piece of cake in a 10-1 machine. So let me show you how.